in science, nothing is considered proven. Any conclusions are given provi provisional status and could be falsified tomorrow either by a re-examination of the data or some new observation that would displace it. So when you state that something is proven, then you're not understanding what the, what the nature of science is. Number two, um, do you know who Karl Popper is, the famous philosopher of science was? Okay, hold on, Dred, don't answer this. A ask him, yeah, can the mathematics behind quantum entanglement be proven? Which is, yes, you can mathematically prove quantum entanglement can happen. Well, I think he just um, ac you. Actually, yeah. actually, there's Gödel's incomplete theorem that you can never have a complete system of mathematics, okay? The bottom line here is this. Whatever conclusions in science that you may hold to or I might hold to, they are always considered provisional in nature and therefore not proven. So I don't know if you have a lack of understanding of the basic philosophy of science or you're just being okay. disingenuous. Do, do you want, Karl, do you want Popper, to Karl Popper devised the demarcation between science and non-science was those endeavors that can meet up to, a, a, uh, that can be falsified in principle. The reason why Karl Popper, I'm not a fan of Karl Popper, but the reason why he championed the falsification criterion is because nothing in his viewpoint, along with many um, theorists in the philosophy of science, that nothing can be uh, proven or verified. That's why they champion theories that can pass a gauntlet of falsification tests stand in a closer relation to being potentially true, okay? So when you say that it, that it's been when you say that it's been proven, you're just demonstrating your own lack of understanding in the so, philosophy. When so I, so okay, you, okay, on, crushing Dred, Dred, no, no, I can answer that. No, no okay, uh, so if you want me to be very pedantic, it's been proven to the same point as we've proven that gravity is a thing and that it follows the formulas we have for it. You haven't okay. proven gravity. In no, fact, hold on. Oh, you haven't. You cannot. Hell, you, 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 okay. Dread. Well, can you explain to me? Are there? Have, has it been proven that there are laws of nature, or hold does on, science Dread. presuppose laws of nature? Dread. Hold on, because the thing is, though, what he seemed to forget about Popper is that his, uh, he replaced it with critical rationalism. Okay. Can you yeah. answer that question? That's Dread. criticism, not support. He, he's dodging the point. He's being really dis He's being really disingenuous about Karl Popper. And he's and saying that Karl Popper is actually Dred. his point. Actually, he elaborated further upon his point, and he's being he's being kind of sort of like a bit of a coward, really, because he's not addressing yeah. how Karl. So Popper's when you say when you say it, things are being proven, I think so I'm going to ask you this question. Way. When I ask, I want to ask you this question, um, uh, um, Tim, he's got to be muted. When you say way. it's proven, have, 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 has it been speaking. proven that does nature operate according to laws, Dred? <laughs> No, it's not been proven. We make we make okay. mathematical models which seem right, well, to be followed heavily I by that. the universe. Okay. Okay. Is it a is it a fact that nature operates according to laws? We don't know. Okay, then if you don't know, where's this talk about proven uh, that quantum entanglement is proven? I mean. Proven beyond a beyond a reasonable doubt. I mean, I don't know what other word I could use for it. I mean, it's. So been, you said it's we've proven. Made my, oh my god! Because it's like it's the same way that someone would say we know gravity exists. Okay. Or we know is the, the conclusion for gravity. is the conclusion about quantum entanglement provisional or is it proven? Uh, define provisional. I'm taking. I'm drawing a blank. Provisional uh, is that a conclusion is generally accepted. Uh, with the exception that it is not deemed to be uh, absolute truth, and it could be falsified tomorrow. I mean, in the same way, literally everything in science is, yeah. So what you're doing, what you're doing is, is you in in order to argue against the laws of logic, you're invoking a provisional concept. And as I quoted in my initial response to you, David Tong said that the current state of our understanding of quantum mechanics is a certain way. But we could be wrong, he said, if we're looking at it from an incorrect perspective. So all you're simply doing is, is you're appealing to a, a certain provisional conclusion, okay, an, an interpretation from one perspective as an argument that the laws of logic are not absolute and universal. 
So it's a very bad. Ar- it's a very bad argument that you no, make. No, because your your first quote is uh your first quote is incorrect when it comes to quantum entanglement. He's right about um certain parts of quantum. Yeah. So for example, the many no, worlds interpretation. All we of don't our know if it's he was yeah, talking well, to interrupt all of our understanding. Why are you interrupting him? Quantum yeah. mechanics. No, 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 he's, he's, inc- no, 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 he's incorrect on quantum entanglement. It is a, it is a observed, we've observed this in laboratories thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of times. We know it does happen in the real world. What he means is, for example, we don't know whether or not the many worlds interpretation no. is cr- true or quantum no, monism is true. it's not that it's observed, what you're referring to. That's you're incorrect. If you're doing this deliberately, or you Go ahead, Dredman. You, you, you're incorrect, Doc. Your, your interpretation of what he means is incorrect. Please do not. Uh, I'm not muting Darth you. Dread is going. Let him um, yeah, finish, man. Yeah, you, your, in, in, your interpretation of what he means is incorrect. We do not know the overriding principle of quantum, so we don't know whether or not the many worlds theorem is true or quantum monism is. He just muted so, him. So, Dread, Dread, you know better than David Tom. Tim. Okay, hold on. No, 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 Darth. There's a specific, we have a specific understanding here. You're not supposed to use any of your mod powers outside of the one room you have, and you're not supposed to interrupt okay. people in this room. Right. If, well, you guys, then if you why... want, just move down. Hey, move down there and okay. run it however right. you now, want. Well, okay. and why, why, if you're a mod, why aren't you stepping in and somebody who is violating you're the You're the one rules? who's interrupting him, and you just. I'm not interrupting. I, I can speak, and he's over talking. Hell, the sun god. Darn. He's going to go and sun. finish what he was saying. When you- I was the one who was He speaking. keeps repeating Sorry. himself. He's going to finish it. If you don't want to you know, run by the same rules here, that's fine. Move down to the other room, and you can do it however you want there. Anyone that wants to – like, if you move down there, we'll tell anyone that wants to have a conversation. You're messing down up down the conversation right now. You're messing but up the conversation. Hold on. No, he's not. Dread, no, he's Dread, not. you're in the middle of a point. Could you back up a little bit? I think he was work? finished. Yeah, I, I, I was. I was um, pretty much finished. All I'm saying okay. is, no, I was the one who was speaking, uh, and he overspoke me. No, you weren't. Well, that's hey, what happened. Liar. That's not what let's, happened. Let's let's okay. stop wasting your time. Go ahead, Dar. Yeah. yeah. Dark, yeah. You got the, now, the, the problem. The pro- The problem here with your your position, yeah. when you when you're invoking things that are proven, nothing is proven in science. All conclusions are provisional. You either accept that or you deny it. Which is it? Hang on, hang on. That's not correct. The phenomenon that we see have been proven to occur in the real world. That's in the way that quantum entanglement has been proven to occur in the real world. We've seen the mechanism of this happen. So I don't get your argument. It's been observed. you, You don't see it. It's interpreted. It's inferred. You don't see it. What you're doing is you are conflating what you are, what you are conflating is an inferential process and interpretation from a particular perspective and saying that we see it. Now, you didn't answer my question. Are any conclusions of following empirical endeavors and analysis, are they in fact proven and true, or in science are they provisional in nature and accepted as true, but they could be falsified tomorrow? It's either one or the other, which is... I, I already answered this. They are provisional. No, you didn't. That's why I asked so, the question again. No, no, I did. They're provisional, and so is gravity, and so is all, everything in science. It's known to a Therefore, very, very high precision. Okay. Then you're, what you're then attempting to do is use a provisional interpretation um, of certain phenomenon and say that the interpretation, which is provisional and subject to falsification tomorrow, that that would mitigate against that there being universal laws of logic. Tim, well, a provisional conclusion, a provisional conclusion that may be false does not falsify something else. Chris, Chris, so wait, I think you're I think you're confusing two things in yeah. science. Yeah. Hang regardless on, of gravity exists. Oh sorry, just real quick. Regardless of gravity exists, a hammer is still going to fall to the ground. That's not I, okay. Are you that, are that's, that's all right, so what he's hold saying, on, slow that, down. Well wait, wait, I'm not done. You regardless said it will of, happen in the future. I have a question. Do you know the future? Talking. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do you know the <laughs> future now. when you Bagel, say it he will happen? Understand critical rationalism. Uh, sir, it's a hypothetical. Okay, okay when you say it will oh my god. Okay, you fine. The I drop a hammer right now. It just hit the table. I look no, at it right I, now. No, I am not that it's addressing my question. Right now. You're That's not irrelevant. addressing it's my irrelevant. question. You said if, if you drop a hammer, it will fall and hit the ground. Will you're talking about the future. Now I want to ask you a question. 
Do, and this is a serious question. Do you know the future? No. Okay. I how then do you know? Certainty. Okay, hold on. And what's a prediction? Listen, then how do you know what will happen in the future based upon what? Based upon, I mean, okay, I see what you're getting at here, but that's irrelevant uh, question, to my argument. Question, he made a prediction. Um, I'm, I will that ignore anyone but Bagel speaking to me. So okay. Well, I mean, technically, what? technically, Dread had the floor. I was just putting in here to point out that. Well, do you have an answer to my right question? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not answering it because it's going down a bunny trail. So you can't answer the question. Then. I can't answer the question. I'm not. Okay, what's your answer? How do you topic. know the future? Based upon based what? Upon, based upon continuous observations in the past. So what current. you're saying is the future will be like the past. How do you know that? Because it's always been that way. A hammer is always going okay. To that's the that's begging the question. Have, that's that's called, begging causality. the question. That's begging the question. When you say that we've never seen a deviation, and every time we predict this, it comes through. Therefore, all future futures will be like all past futures because they were like the past. That's that's begging the question. Keeps hitting the table. You hear that? Um, so do you uh, understand? What you just bagel, did, you've, made, bagel, you've, you've, made, you've made an appeal, oh. Bagel. You've made an appeal to past consistency without right. deviation. Okay. And so since all past rephrase. consistencies yeah, can so continue, Russian therefore much, all futures Tim, will be consistent like Tim, the Tim, past. He's not meant to answer his question, so can we just but move on wait, from this? So, point? Because right, right, so that's causality begging the question, Bagel. Are we disputing causality then? Hold on. Um... Tim, like obviously Bagel isn't going to answer his question because he doesn't want to answer his bullshit fucking logic. The thing that he seemed to make uh, an assertion to earlier was uh, Karl Popper, but Karl Popper be also ex further expanded on his point and became a critical rationalist and that scientific theories and other claims of knowledge should and can be rationally criticized if they have empirical content. So something like um, quantum theory can have empirical content because you can see, test it and see the observations from it and they should be subjected to tests which may falsify them. That's not he's being really disingenuous the way that he represented what Popper said and it's like done in such a way to try and invalidate the argument which is kind of a fucking bullshit tactic but it doesn't sort of discount Dredd's point of how quantum entanglement oh, so, so, so was I an wrong reaction. I, so was I wrong when I said that Car Karl Popper did not accept that we could he, verify things and that's why he championed the falsification criteria. No, false? he, no you're being disingenuous. He expanded it up into to critical rationalism that no, you I said was that false I said what that was that false what I said. Uh, but you're being deliberately dis misleading and disingenuous. That's the point no, I'm making. No, is it is it is it false? No, that's a non argument. Did Karl okay. Popper you're believe being, you're being misleading. Did Karl you're Popper believe <laughs> did Karl script. Popper well, believe that method. verification was actually viable? Okay, hold on, Tim. The thing is, though, I don't need him to finish, okay, because he's deliberately no, no, misrepresenting not, the face. You're not going to interrupt him. He's not going to interrupt you. Man, stop Come rambling. Yeah. Okay, yeah. did Karl Popper believe that verification was possible when it okay, comes to a, scientific that's a, theories? That's a non-argument. It's irrelevant to the point. No, that's, a que that's a question to you, sir. Okay, well, the question is an irrelevant question to this argument. because So, not, so in other words, you're I'm, not really interested talking. in having a conversation. Dude, uh, Tim, uh, you just told me not to interrupt me, but he's fucking interrupting me now. Come on. Darth, let him finish. You're not even answering the question. You're just because saying bullshit. Hold on. Because it's an irrelevant question designed to be a red herring to get away from Where do we go from now? Where do we go from now? No, it is relevant. I'm asking I'm just, you about Karl Popper. And I explained to you how Karl Popper further expanded upon the point that you're trying to sort of like die on this hill on and how it's not relevant anymore because it's changed. Do Why you know did Karl Popper you... champion the falsification you... criterion? No, he championed critical rationalism, which is every claim should be well, that's a, that's a, Yeah, that's, that's, another, that's another title of it. I understand that. Why okay. did pa Karl Popper and it... uh, champion the distinction between science and non-science was the falsification criterion? The question is, and did, he then did Karl Popper believe that verification was viable or not viable? No, he said that it should be normatively evaluated, and that it's okay, either that you're not you're not you're not addressing my question. Or empirical. Yeah, you're just listen. What you're what you're doing is. You're you're not even you're just simply talking past me. You're he's reading the Wikipedia question. page. I'm reading it right yeah, now. Yeah, I know, I know I know he is. Mm -hmm. he, he's not what he's what he's doing is a form of trolling. He's making a really? pretense. That he's in the conversation, but he's mm. not responding to my questions. You mean like how you do? Now I I want to well you, you listen, dude. Out. I answer people's questions. Okay, so hold on. So let's go back to mine and Dred's original argument of quantum entanglement. Do you know what quantum entanglement is? 
I've read upon it, yeah. So what is quantum entanglement? Explain it to me, please. I, 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 I don't think I'll do a good job of expressing it. Okay, okay but cool. The bottom, the bottom line here, so, hold the on. reason so, why quantum entanglement was invoked was as a line of reasoning to mitigate against the laws of logic. All right. Quantum entanglement is an interpretation of phenomena. That, Thank you. That, that interpretation of that, that what is called quantum entanglement is not set in concrete, and it could be falsified tomorrow. Okay, but you, do you also accept that quantum logic is different from regular logic, right? What, I don't even know what you're talking about. Okay, so I can't have this conversation with you. You're, if just, you don't yeah, you're, just, yeah, yeah. you're just trolling. You're not, How am I, you're not wait, having a conversation with me. Hold on. No, I'm being serious here. Like, if you don't understand quantum entanglement and basic quantum theory, I can't go into this <clears> deeper with you. Well, the, <clears> the, issue, the issue here is so, that quantum entanglement was brought up to mitigate that the laws of logic are absolute and universal. Okay. That was, that was hold the topic. On. Okay, so uh, do hang you on, believe Darth. in the laws of logic? Darth, hold on. Okay, no, this isn't the point that we're having here. I'm trying to explain quantum entanglement to you. If you don't understand quantum entanglement, I'm more than yeah, happy. Yeah, see, to I want everyone in the room to notice he's not having a conversation with me. He's simply I'm rambling to, and talking past No, me. I'm not rambling and trying to explain. But if we're going to have a discussion on quantum entanglement and quantum mechanics, you need yeah, to have Yeah, see, a he's doing it again right now. Why? It's relevant to the question. It's relevant to the topic, is it not, Tim? For him to have a basic I understanding. Well, I don't. I don't understand how, in your worldview, you can That's talk irrelevant. about. Okay. Well, my We're question is right now. He's, he's right. Well, when you talk he's... about quantum entanglement, does that mean that is is quantum uh, is quantum entanglement something that is a part of the nature of reality? It's the fundamental building blocks. Okay. Now, okay. If it's the fundamental building block, doesn't that entail that there's continuity over time at a quantum level? Again, I can't answer to that. But can neither can you? Well, if you don't point. know, if you can't answer, if you can't answer that there's continuity don't interrupt over time him. with respect to quantum phenomenon, how can you That's, talk about the okay. ongoing? Let me please let me finish and stop over talking. You didn't let him finish because you're not going you're to scared. escape this, and the only way you're going to attempt mm -hmm. to escape it is to double talk now. When you talk about quantum entanglement, are you talking about it as an ongoing, continuous phenomenon? Yes, sir. That's not what we're talking about. Okay, but nice try. I it's asked you a question. I know. Is and quantum I know. entanglement a part of the uniform? Oh, go ahead and respond. Darth, let me finish. So the point that we were trying to make here is that there is a distinction between quantum entanglement and how it separates you from regular logic. You're trying to bring up a red herring, which is irrelevant to the point, because the whole theory that we're trying to tell you is that quantum theory does not, uh, regular logic does not apply to quantum theory. That's the point that we're trying to make here, which you seem okay. to be really, really disingenuous. And you keep trying to fucking derail and go to another fucking side of it when we're asking you to, ex because the thing is, if you start, if we lead you in this down this path and you turn around and explain what quantum entanglement is, and then we can lead you further down a path which shows how quantum entanglement and quantum theory breaks your regular laws of logic. But you keep dodging this. You keep saying, oh, I'm trolling. I'm doing this because you know that if you t follow down this path, you'll be BTFO'd. So you either come and ex try and explain to us what you think quantum entanglement is so myself and Dredd can educate you or you back out of this conversation humbly because you do are well out of your depth. So this is the question. Explain what quantum entanglement is, yeah? Or back the fuck down because you can't make a point on this on this hill. Yeah. Um, are the quantum phenomenon that you refer to, including quantum entanglement, um, is that in virtue of a continuity over time, or no? Just explain uh, explain what quantum entanglement is. Stop trying to get out of it and just okay. um, look, I ask you, look at the Wikipedia definition if it if it helps. Okay, I I have I have read it before. Okay, okay now cool. what I'd like to know from you is when you invoke quantum uh, quantum entanglement or any other quantum phenomenon for that matter. Okay, are these are these events that are reoccurring? Why is that relevant? I'd like an answer to my question. I know, but I'm trying to ask. I'm asking you a question. Why is it relevant? Is quantum entanglement something that is present or continues into the future? I don't know. It could stop tomorrow. Okay. So, so um, it, 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 then, then if if you don't know that it is present or ongoing, why do you keep on talking about it as though it's a present?